top to try and throw them off. But also in this mid lane, that means that Pobelter doesn't get to take TP against double TP from TL. They lost to double. Yeah. <laughs> right? Lux was good. They couldn't figure out what really countered it, like Talon or something like that. But look at this. Oh, Miss Q. Those are both. Rainovers summoners. here, though. Both summoners for Matt. That should be the focus. He's an easy walk in for the kill. Huni could turn around, help solidify this, but he almost gets one of his own on the sound on Matt. A five to four here in the top lane as Huni finds a bit of an advantage and also a push here from Turtle and Adrian. So they're going to be going hard on the top turret as a mid lane gets a little bit of luck. Ooh, Gardok is low. Is low. He goes back in as soon oh, as Rainover reloads. That timing he saw to keep himself alive. And now they're going to try to take Last on route. Rainover. What a play. Do they is also have oh, the man? That's going to die. Doctor's bite. Oh, no. They give it back to Rainover. Oh, no. That was. They the pressure that more or Team Liquid has right now. Rain over over the wall though, so Piglet being six, I don't know how much it's going to matter here. Yeah, they have pressure in levels, but if they aren't organized on the map, you lose it all. Oh. That's a kill going on to Matt, and now they have Piglet hanging out to dry. He flashes in to try and get the kill over on Hootie. What? But the yep. shield comes especially early on before he has the rope, before he gets stacking HP and so on. Yep. Um, Turtle is going to be a great target as well. I mean, if you can if you can get a, a body slam flash, but Phoenix is in trouble. Look how this was set up. Phoenix was already hugging oh, the oh. left side. Dardock is going to be able to solidify a kill with turret damage. Almost gets himself too, but he was frozen in place before Pope. Very dangerous for him. They know Pope Belter doesn't have any summoner spells. And look at this, Lorlo comes in. Vengeful Maelstrom right on before they go into the turret. He's going to have to fight this one out. You bring it to the snake. CPs, it's going to be a slow walk in Turtles. Way too far away from home for that. How is Teal going to get out of this, though? It's going to be awkward. Nice body sun. Oh, Piglet. He could get out of this one. He actually puts himself on the top side of the fight. Now it's all faced into the lane. Dardock goes down. Matt gets there just a second too late to the party. Piglet's trying to chase and help his team now. Phoenix starting to come around the corner, but is it too late? Lorlo fending off four members right now. As Immortals look to chop down the tree, he's only going to do a little bit more. Maybe get Belter. But they are able to pick it up. So huge for Immortals. Uh, Everybody's trying to at least get the hook so they can pull in the missing line. A Rainover gonna pick up another one is unstoppable now with his fifth kill and Immortals looking for more. Was that just a lack of respect in that? I was looking down at the uh, stats for a second. Rainover still putting pressure on, not afraid to tank. <laughs> Pretty sure he is. 20 minutes on the clock. That means home guard starts. Teleport plays could be a little stronger now coming from the side of Team Liquid if they choose to do so. But we're still looking for Phoenix this the side. outer ring of turrets to get dropped. Glacial Fisher and True Shot Barrage cross over each other. And a very deleted Matt goes down. That's going to be Dardock that oh, follows. No. They thought they had the upper hand here, but are turned around and flipped upside down in their own oh, head. Piglet got Piglet's going to go down to Howling Gale into one windy attack. It blows him right over. And that's going to be Lorlo getting himself out alive. Deja. Oh, nice push out on Pole Belter, but the team knows collectively. Oh, they stopped him. This is not a fight. Glacial Fisher over to oh! Oh! A three man ultimate, and they're going to start getting this the clean up. Piglet goes down. We just said it was one fight to take the inhibitor, then another one to follow up on the Nexus. Is it all patched up in one? Is this the kid in Kabuto for Immortals? On for Huni. He's in a 2v1. Steadfast presence is down, and there is going to be enough time for Rainover to come over. These guys are just holding hands, taking a nice walk on the beach, and they're ready to bring even more cavalry to the show. On to Matt, and it's going to keep going. And after their performance in the semifinals, Immortals are silencing the haters. Huni on a tank, performing immaculately, and Rainover with the cleanup, with the damage dealing graves in the jungle. Immortals look like they have adapted to this meta. That is an understatement. Performing, I mean, that three-man <laughs> ultimate flash into the. Into I said the immaculate. Heat, that was just <laughs> godlike. Huni is going off this game. Rainover is going off. This is the dynamic duo that everyone expected. Whoa, so here comes Lord Lord. Going for broke. A nice push back. That was the monsoon. Janna ultimates out. This is going to be Huni giving himself up for the team, and Dardock may not have the chase. The Baron's up and. They can honestly give the next turn as well. Just wait for Huni. There's no reason to risk it at I this agree. point. Uh, there are enough ahead that yeah. they don't need to be here. Oh, Dardock! Pobelter! Oh, they what want What an ultimate from Cass! Pobelter going in, it's gonna happen. That's gonna be Turtle on the outside. He rents out too. Turtle going for a triple. That's gonna be the Quadra, and it's gonna be Lorlo going down. Turtle comes up huge. And Pobelter.
Walter. What an ultimate. He got yeah. the four-man Cassiopeia ultimate. He says, I'm going to die, but I'm taking you with me. The whole belter just came up massive, and Wild Turtle makes him pay. That is going to be game number two. 28 minutes, keeping it on pace. As I said before, they're right on to the Nexus turrets. Two games in now, Immortals has not shown any stopping in their aggression from early sections of the game onto mid or even late. If we make it to the late game on this series, that's gonna be the second Nexus turret going down. Matt doing his damnedest to be unbreakable for the team. The rest of Liquid spawns pouring out their last efforts in game number two. And Immortals will